sometimes when we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2, interesting things start to crop up. Now, earlier today, we went over the Game Developers Conference and how they had a whole polling system going on with various developers asking them, hey, what systems are you currently making games for? And that a bunch of developers, about 200 of them, admitted they are presently making games for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, that was really cool and some nice information on the surface. And we have all the details and all the context around that in a video you can watch right here. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot which hand to put up. But to, now we got to get into something that's a bit more nuanced. And it's because the Nintendo Switch 2 is now being listed for pre-order in Japan. And that's a very fascinating thing to me because it could mean a few things. It could also just be a nothing burger where they're just trying to grab onto the Nintendo Switch 2 hype train and all of that. But it is also possible that they could have had it indicated to them that the system's going to be available this year. And hence, they should make it available for pre-order or be one of the first search results that pop up when people go pre-order Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever they call it. The interesting thing is they do call it Nintendo Switch 2 on the website. Now this has been English translated with Google Translate, so let's go ahead and dive in. And as you see here, this is from Mecca, Japan. This is a fairly decently popular place online to buy stuff in Japan. And as you can see, it says console, Nintendo Switch 2, availability, obviously 1231, 2024. They always do that the last day of the year when there isn't an official release date. And right now, it's listed as out of stock. It was up at one point where you could add it to your cart, but there's no, not an actual price listed for it here. And then it just says, you know, you can get this little notification bell and get notified when it's available. They do have a money back guarantee ships worldwide so you can order from here and get it shipped obviously to the united states or wherever you happen to live um and yeah it's it, it's it's pretty neat they got a newsletter they got followers you can see they're obviously big into nintendo here with splatoon and everything so they're a fairly popular uh website in japan that you can order stuff from or get shipped to internationally now the big thing obviously here is they might know or have been informed that Nintendo Switch 2 will be coming out this year. And that being the case, they just want to get their pre-order page ready to go. And it's possible that this news could be starting to creep out to retailers. Now, it's possible a bunch of retailers could be popping up with Nintendo Switch 2 listings, you know, fairly soon. It is a possibility. I also find it interesting that they're calling it Nintendo Switch 2 again we don't know what Nintendo is going to call this system. It's actually one of the widest debated things about it is what will Nintendo call this next generation console? Is it going to end up being Nintendo Switch 2, Super Switch? Are they even going to use Switch in the branding? Could they completely change it up and try to reset the narrative all over again just to make it sound like, hey, this isn't a Switch, it's a new thing because they are afraid of the whole Wii U or 3DS situation. I don't really think that's the case, and I do think a number kind of clarifies it's the next system. Nintendo Switch 2 is hard to confuse with Nintendo Switch. It's just like an iPhone 7 isn't going to be confused with an iPhone 15, right? Clearly the 15 is the newer model, so I do find it fascinating uh, how this is all working, and Look, it also is entirely possible Mecha Japan knows absolutely nothing. In fact, some of you guys might feel it's likely they know nothing. And all this is, is a 100% placeholder. Now, what I really want to dive into, maybe uh, just to kind of round out this video, because I honestly don't know when we're going to talk about Nintendo Switch 2 again. I know it seems like we talk about Nintendo Switch 2 every single day, but I don't really control the rumors. I don't control the leaks. I don't control retailer listings pop up i don't control the gdc doing a poll so i have no idea we literally could end up not talking about nintendo switch 2 again for a whole month or so it's really gonna depend you know we probably have nintendo direct coming up so we'll probably start hearing stuff about that we could be hearing bigger news on select games like princess peach showtime and all of that so it's entirely possible that we're about to not really talk about nintendo switch 2 for a little bit you know the calm before the proverbial storm uh, so what I actually want to have a brief conversation about is what I feel like the launch lineup is going to be. And when I say lineup, I'm talking like first six months, not just, you know, right when the system comes out. And I do think that we need to start looking at 
Just some possibilities. I, I Look, I'm on the train that it's going to launch with a 3D Mario game. I fully expect it because I think this system's going to launch no later than September of this year. And let's just work on the presumption it is September. So if they launch it with Mario in September, I think there will be an October game. Nintendo loves that October month. And I feel like that game could actually be Metroid Prime 4 as a cross-gen release with the original Nintendo Switch. And then obviously... November will be Pokemon, right? I don't know that Nintendo's going to have like a Switch 2 specific game in November. I feel like they're just going to do, hey, we have Pokemon coming. A you backwards compatibility, you can still play it on Switch 2. Could be a cross-gen Pokemon, but I kind of feel like it's mostly going to be a Switch Pokemon that you can just happen to play on your Switch 2 with backwards compatibility. Now, I feel like there could be a December game because, look, Nintendo does sometimes launch some significant games in December. I feel like this would be an interesting slot, and I'm going to go on a whim here. Mario Kart 9X Deluxe, whatever, I don't know, whatever the heck they want to call the next Mario Kart game. I kind of think like it might launch in December. And I know you go, well, why wouldn't they launch that in November? And they could, but I feel like this is the evergreen of evergreen titles. It doesn't really matter when they launch it. It's just going to keep selling. But getting it out there before Christmas, I think would be a really big boon to the system. And then I think January, that's right. This is almost a game a month. Uh, is going to be quickly following it with a Wind Waker or Twilight Princess HD situation. Now they could obviously still do that this year, but I kind of feel like that feels like the right time. So you got your Mario, your Mario Karts, your Metroids, your Zeldas, and then we'll start getting into the brux of things like a Xenoblade and all that. Now, along the way, there will be uh, some more casual games. I can see a Ring Fit Adventure 2 or some other sort of workout game coming out in between there. Some exclusive indie titles, third-party games as well. Elden Ring, I think, is going to end up being a launch game for the system. And we might even get Baldur's Gate 3 announced for the system, but coming in 20. 25. I think that is the distinct possibility. Of course, these are all just possibilities, just like it's a possibility that this damn retailer in Japan actually was told the system's coming and to prepare their system for pre-orders. So it is what it is. You guys let me know your ideal first six month launch lineup for the Nintendo Switch 2 when you think the system's actually going to come out. Because, you know, I don't really know when we're going to be having these conversations again on the channel outside of, you know, random ones that seem to pop up in the podcast every week because every guest that comes on wants to talk about Nintendo Switch 2. Not really surprised. Switch 2 is a very popular topic. And man, we're all just kind of you know, twiddling our thumbs here. Like, hey, when are we going to get this thing? Can we just get it now, please? All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next video.